Okay, now this one says, if f of x is equal to the square root of x minus x and g of x is equal to 2 times x cubed minus the square root of x minus x, find f minus g of x. So I'm going to take this, right, which is the square root. Well, let me write it a little more formal. We want to find f of x. Well, we want to find f of x um, which is, is uh, the square root of x minus x and then we're going to subtract g of x from it um, which is 2x cubed minus x squared. Oh, I see what, or the square root of x minus x. I see what they did. I see what they did. So because, see at first I thought, well, this is funny. At first I thought this minus this is zero. And this minus this, you know, I thought that there would be some canceling. But we're subtracting g of x, which means I'm really multiplying g of x by a negative 1. So the first thing that I've got to do, f of x just stays the same. But now I've got to distribute this negative 1 through the parentheses. And really, that just changes the sign of each term, right? Because a negative 1 times a negative square root of x just makes it a positive square root of x. And a negative times a negative x just makes it a positive x. And so now it's just a matter of combining like terms, right? So then let's identify the like terms. So um, the square root of x, one positive square root of x, and another positive square root of x. Then I have, well, let's use a different color. I don't want to confuse you guys. Um, one square root of x and one square root of x. Now, technically, that's just x raised to the one half. Um, then I have a negative x to the first power and a positive x to the first power. And then lastly, I've got negative 2x squared. I want to write this in descending order. Oh, why did I say squared? Because technically that's um, that's cubed, right? Ugh. First thing in the morning. Am I right? So then this becomes negative 2x cubed, right? So, just so we remember, we're taking f of x and we're subtracting g of x from it. This is all the same thing. We're just going through and simplifying by combining like terms. Um, well, when I have 1x and I subtract an x, x minus x equals 0. So those two terms go away. And then I have one square root of x plus another square root of x. So that means I have two square roots of x, right? One square root of x plus another square root of x. That gives me two positive square roots of x. And that is basically it. That's the whole kit caboodle on that one.